Okay, Holly, we're gonna go through your exercises. Look, to reiterate what we spoke about before is you have a patella tendon problem that is very much agreed. These need to be loaded. The big take home message is in all of your exercises, don't let your legs go um, down into a squat position. More than about 45 to 60 degrees is gonna be maximal. Um, high load with all of these exercises when we, we're doing them. Um, I don't mind if it's a little bit painful, but for me, the most important bit is if it's really painful for one to two days afterwards, you can't do anything, then it's too much. If you get a very quick recovery, push on. Uh, these conditions to make a difference in the tendon itself, you're looking at at least eight weeks minimum, and could be anywhere up to six months from a tendon perspective, but I'm confident by doing the strengthening, we can, by loading it, it should help it uh, rebuild. It's not an inflammation of the tendon, this is a degeneration. It's a called an, it's called a patella tendinopathy, patella tendinopathy, and the best researchers in the world with these two things are a guy called, um, yeah, I'm putting on video. Is a guy called Craig Purdom and Dr. Jill Cook, and they have the best patella tendon. And the ba the bottom t take home message for these is it's going to take a while, but load it, put it, put a high load through the tendon. Don't back off it. Calf strengthening is useful in conjunction with some glute strengthening. My, the hope with the rehabilitation program for this is we go through a high load tendon loading thing that we'll go through today with the leg pressing on the Smith machine. Um, rolling and stuff, when I've assessed your knee, um, I'm gonna show you one quad stretch. I don't think your ITB needs rolling. It's not that tight, to be honest. Your glute control actually isn't too bad. But the premise of probably what we've missed in the last five months is high load patella tendon. Mm -hmm. If we can get through, now, the test on how well we're going is to jump for distance on one leg. So we jump and on the left hand side, you landed on the left hand side, it was quite sore. Yeah. That's gonna be our test. So as soon as you can do that test and it's pain free, we can then go into a pre-jumping program for three to four weeks, which is a set of pre-jumping exercises. And then from pre-jumping, we go on to a full jumping program. And once you can full jump with pain, without pain, then we're home and hosed. Okay. Minimum, just bear with it for the first six weeks. It's gonna be a little bit tender. Okay. Um, um, and I'm gonna go through the exercises in the next video. Thank you. Okay.